here I am next to one of my favorite aliens from the planet M78 of all time, Ultraman. And uh, he's not the only character here that I'm surrounded by. There's also Gundam, Kamen Rider, Doraemon, and Ampan Man. And all of these characters have one thing in common. The toys for them are all made by Bondi. And right now I'm going to go inside this building and see if I can scam some free toys before I get thrown out. So wish me luck. Swatch! Okay, I did it. I jumped high enough and I flew into the second floor of Bonda HQ and I've never been here before and I'm extremely excited because this is where they keep all the old, rare stuff. Um, starting with this display case which is Ultraman themed and here's some really old school Bondi Ultra vehicles from the 70s. We've got the Arrow from Ultraman Ace, the Falcon from also from Ultraman Ace and several big scale kaiju vinyls, Gomorrah, Mikuras, and Red King. And up here an assortment of Ultra Heroes and Kaiju and this is a really nice piece. The Ultraman Color Timer. Uh, when that changes red, you've only got three minutes to survive in Earth's polluted atmosphere, and you know the rest. Okay, but that's only the beginning. It gets better. Here are some of the really, really old, weird toys that Bondi made back in the day, uh, like Cycling Daddy. I wonder how many kids got that for Christmas and were disappointed or entertained by the pipe-smoking action. Um, up here, we've got a few. We've got a grasshopper. A Kabuto Mushi and a Crazy Dancer. I'm not really sure what the story is behind that. Maybe I don't want to know. And something really interesting called uh, Bandai Neon Vision from 1969. Suspiciously, it looks like a light bright, and I like the fact that it has a kind of strange depiction of the three little pigs there on a the little screen. This is a really, really interesting piece that I've never actually seen before. And, uh,. What can I say except wow at the sight of the Mazinger display case? Uh, there's the classic Jumbo Machinder Mazinger Z right next to the Great Mazinger, which apparently is a, a, tr a prize winning piece. It's on a display stand that says it won first prize in a toy design competition back in the day. So, this is, I'm in the presence of greatness right now. A pair of Rocket Punch Fists, the original Chogokin, my favorite word of all time. Uh, Mazinger and Great Mazinger figures in beautiful condition. This is really brings a smile to my face. And here is the Chogokin Popi Nika display case. Oh my goodness. Three variants of the space battleship Yamato. Uh, oh my gosh. What can I say? And moving on to the next display case. Saint Seiya and Kinikuman. These are really great. Here's the uh, the rubber eraser style uh, Kinniku Man sold in America as Muscle. Millions of unusual creatures lurking everywhere. One of the greatest acronyms of all time. And also the, um, the Kinniku Man Championship Hero Belt. Very nice piece. Very impressive to be worn. Uh, and also, I guess, is the... the the Niku uh, kanji there for placing on your own forehead so people will finally respect you on the playground. And our journey ends here uh, with the games, the games display case. Uh, looks like we've got some really old Bondi Electronics uh, LCD games uh, from the 70s. Some of them go back. Here's a really awesome Dot Matrix Mahjong game that looks like it would probably spend the rest of your life trying to figure out how to play and let alone beat it. Tamagotchi, of course, from the 90s, and Dr. Slump, the watch games from the 80s, and maybe the coolest item in this case is the Donjara, the uh, Doraemon Mahjong game for kids, and it looks like the whole family there is having a great time, as am I on the second floor of Bondi HQ. Here we are, uh, Otaku vs. Zero, your favorite web show all about stuff from Japan, anime, manga, uh, gosh, what else, movies, uh, whatever crazy stuff we can manage to come across with a video camera. I'm Patrick Macias. And I'm Yuasakawa. And uh, mm -hmm. let's talk about toys a little bit, mm -hmm. specifically the toys that we saw at the Bandai headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, did you recognize anything from your childhood during the piece there? Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Swamp. The Dr. Slump uh, watch game? And, uh, yes, and uh, Donjara. Donjara. <laughs> and Kinikuman. Can you explain what Donjara is? I was kind of... I, I don't. We don't have this in America. Uh, We're too busy 
I don't know, playing gin rummy or like go fish or something. I don't know about donjara, but it's kind of mahjong game, mahjong. right? And but I didn't know how to how to play. Oh. So, but donjara was very very famous, but I didn't know. I don't know only a name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my understanding is that mm -hmm. it helps kids uh, to kind of learn how to play mahjong, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. eventually they can become gamblers mm -hmm. and stay out all night and, and drink and smoke <laughs> mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yes, yeah, so I was I was a bit surprised because mahjong is a game for uh, gamblers. People. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, Doraemon Dunder is for the kids. Yeah, I mean you have to get them up to the. You mm -hmm. know, you have to prepare them for the future. Mm -hmm. um, did you have a Doctor Slump watch game or anything like that? Yes, I have a game watch, a few game watches, I think, mm -hmm. but not Dr. Swamp. Uh -huh. mm. Do you regret not having them still with you as they're worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars now? <laughs> I think. Is it, is it expensive? I think they are, yeah. If you get them in, uh, still in the box mm -hmm. and if they still work and everything, yeah, you can mm -hmm. probably fork them over and give them to someone or put them on mm -hmm. auction or something like mm -hmm. that. And you can do okay. Mm -hmm. But oh. you're so excited. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, because I've been to Bondi a few times mm -hmm. before, but the second level is is closed to the public. You actually have uh, to that, get that floor. That whole floor, where, the one that I I jumped up and flew into. <laughs> Um, you broke the window. I broke the window. <laughs> I I crashed. I ran past the security guards. Um, <laughs> yes, it's actually closed to the public. I don't know why, but that's really mm -hmm. where they keep the kind of jewels mm -hmm. of the, the you know the crown jewels mm -hmm. of the collection there, the really old stuff in mm -hmm. pristine condition. The first floor is kind of um, the new current items on sale, mm -hmm. but you know that's great. You can go to a toy store and mm -hmm. see those as well. But the old stuff um, that blows my mind is only on the second floor, and it's uh, yeah. So in addition mm. to running around um, like crazy and looking at a bunch of toys and going gaga over them, mm -hmm. I actually managed to calm down enough to, um, mm -hmm. to talk to someone there at Bandai who would actually speak to me in English because um, his name is Adam Newman. He mm -hmm. works there, and um, he's a good friend. And mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting to hear how you can get a job at Bandai. He basically says, welcome foreigners. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at how you can get a job at Bandai from Adam Newman. Okay, here on the second floor, there's also human beings, including Mr. Adam Newman. Um, Adam, what is your actual job description here at Bondi? Um, well, technically I'm a human being, but I, I can't okay. transform into a robot. No, actually I, I work in our collector's toy department, uh, marketing overseas, a lot of robots, uh, or robot toys I should say. Um, and uh, I'm involved in uh, developing new business uh, to, to new markets and uh, primarily focusing on our core collector's brands. What are some of the biggies right now that you can sell us on? Of course, in, in Asia, all around, we have success with our, our main collector's uh, brands, which would constitute a Chogokin, which would be our, our line of die-cast robots, or I should say the soul of Chogokin. The Chogokin by Poppy came out in the 70s, and this was the, the high-tech re-release that came out in 1997. And now this year, uh, 2010, we re-released uh, Super Robot Chogokin, which is even more advanced. Uh, in addition to that, uh, our uh, Saint Cloth Myth, based on the Saint Seiya characters, is uh, popular in a lot of markets overseas, uh, not just Asia and Europe, but also Latin America as well. Uh, and also, we're of course marketing all of our, uh, I guess you'd say, uh, composite plastic, ABS, PVC. We use a lot of different materials mm -hmm. uh, with what we call uh, our robot spirits line, and that focuses on a lot of different robot characters, including uh, Gundam and Evangelion. I've heard of them. And uh, we offered a uh, Evangelion exclusive in uh, the San Diego Comic Con. So I don't know if you're, a lot of your viewers are watching from America, but uh, we have a uh, good representation of our line in the U.S. as well. Very nice. And um, on a personal note, I'm curious how you got this job here at a Japanese toy company. Was it something you'd been, I mean, how, how can we send, who do we send our resumes to? How can we take your job, basically? We do have a, a HR department who's actually been actively recruiting. Um, really? Yeah, people, foreigners. We've, we've just recruited, uh, on average, I think, five to seven people a year from uh, colleges. Uh, primarily in the in the U.S. and I'm from the U.S. originally. Uh, I was based in Japan when they hired me. I'd been here for uh, around five years, and I've been in, B in Bondi now for for seven years. In Japan, a total of twelve years. So over half of my stay has been uh, has been here in Bondi, and it's it's gone by really quickly. Uh, I was headhunted headhunted from another company, and I think Japanese skills are imperative to being hired here because although we've have a lot of globally successful launches. Uh, we are a Japanese corporation, and for internal communication reasons, uh, definitely Japanese would be a priority. Okay, and uh, what are some important Japanese words that you think you know are kind of essentially said like on a daily basis right here? Like henshin. Henshin's a good one. Yeah. Moshiwaki arimasen. Moshiwaki arimasen. Yeah. Deep uh, apologies. Deep apologies. Yeah. Uh, that 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 would be a good one. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
well, g a m b a r i m a s you know, try your best. Okay, f u t s u k a y o i f u t s u k a y o i hangover. Hangover. Yes, yes yeah. that's, a, that's a good one to know too. Okay.、Um, yeah, all those, actually, that's pretty much it. That's the essential、uh, five. <laughs> I think you're ready. I'm ready, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay.、Um, you're hired. I have a job. Well, can I start by taking home? The,、uh, the big size Yamada with me? Is that? Oh, sure, sure, no problem. I mean, this whole thing's been set up just so I can get close enough to this to like. To do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, we can talk about that. Okay, okay, great. What can I say? Except,、um, I win. I won the game of life. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So,、mm-hmm. while I was absolutely thrilled to、mm-hmm. get onto the second floor of Bondi and see all the super rare、mm-hmm. stuff that I'd never seen before,、mm-hmm. and although Adam promised that he was going to give me the, the big size Yamato that I've wanted ever since I was 10 years old, I, I walked home without anything. I didn't get anything. So,、um, I'm a little, I was a little disappointed in the end <laughs>、um, to only see great things, but not actually to be able to play with them.、Mm-hmm. But、um, is there anything you'd want at Bondi?、Mm-hmm. Is there anything you saw on display? Did you want the,、um, the, the, the dancing crazy lady or whatever that was? Dancing crazy, that fraud as well. Yeah, it was like a scary hula dancer <laughs> you, you with no、that? hair.、Oh, yeah. No, I mean, are you interested in anything? Maybe you could go there and try to get some toys from me. Ah, the, that place? Yeah. <laughs> Eh, what's that? Kinnikuman Ulysses. Oh, Keshigoma.、Mm-hmm. Keshigoma. Kin、yeah. Keshi, we, we said. It was so popular、uh-huh. when I was、uh, elementary. Yeah, did you, would you want to wear the kanji for Niku on、no. your forehead and <laughs> run around and beat people up and wrestle with them and stuff like that? <laughs> Why the kanji of Niku was go- not upside kind down? Kind of upside down?、Mm. I guess the toy is so、um. old that、um, maybe just the plastic expanded.、Uh-huh. But also, I don't know how you get that to stick to your head. Because、mm-hmm. it's just a little kanji. I mean, it, I'm not sure how people. Maybe you get some glue or a staple or something. I, I don't know how that works. It's a very complicated <laughs> toy.、Um, but that's a nice one. Did you collect any Keshigomu? Or?、Uh, I I Did you ever see kids like fight over them? Like, give me that,、yeah. I want,、mm. tra- you know, so that's teacher, not acceptable. So, teacher said, us,、uh, don't bring King Kishi. Uh huh. Don't bring、school. racer、mm-hmm. toys to school.、Mm-hmm. Wow, so it was a real social problem、yes. back in Japan、mm-hmm. in the 80s.、Mm. That brings back memories.、Um, uh. It seems like you also got excited about the Tamagotchi.、Mm. Ah! But when Tamagotchi was so popular, I was 20, I think.、Uh-huh. 20 or more? So, you think you were a little too old to be playing with、uh, I played with、pets. Tamagotchi. It was so popular, too.、Mm-hmm. We cannot find and we cannot buy. Oh, sold they're out sold out everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Did,、mm. did your pet live a long time or were you good at keeping your Tamagotchi pet? I don't know. Was, was, obviously, maybe you've forgotten because it was so、mm. traumatic if it died <laughs> or something like that. You've been blocking the memory all this time. I don't know. I think I quit. Until、you think I, he quit? I finish. <laughs>、uh, we have to raise a kind of monster、mm-hmm. in Tamagotchi.、Mm-hmm. But I, I didn't do it at last until. Oh, you didn't go all the way with、uh-huh. it? Okay. Well, it's never too late. You can go. You can... <laughs> too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> like really bringing back like old buried <laughs> memories. This is like a you know, hypnotism. Do you remember anything about your Tamagotchi? <laughs> it's only shape and size and color. That's pretty good.、Mm. That's more than I remember about yeah, anything that happened、mm. previous to being、mm. here in the studio today. So <laughs> that's pretty good. Maybe、mm. it's time to, to wrap up, do you think? <laughs> Maybe it's time to, to, to end the show. We, no. We, we, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> let's close. Today's <laughs> English lesson is okay, so you can make up for it by、uh, giving away the email address、mm. for the show so、mm. people can write in and with questions, comments,、um, just about anything they want to send us. So,、mm. what is the email address for a talk of verse zero? Okay. OVZ at KZStation.com. OVZ at KZSTATION.com. Very good.、Right. I think that's as clear as、yeah. it could possibly be.、Um, so thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.